Hi, hello everyone. This is Priya Dashni, Assistant Professor, Department of BBA, KSR College of Arts and Science for Women. Today I am going to talk about GST. Introductions about GST. GST is a multi-stage tax system which is comprehensive in nature and applied on the sale of goods and services. The main aim of this tax system is to curb the cascading effect of other indirect taxes. What is the GST? GST is refers to goods and service taxes. It is an indirect tax. It was implemented to replace the varieties of previous indirect taxes, including the value added taxes, service tax, purchase tax, and then exercise duty and others. GST is a tax that India imposed on the supply of specific goods and services. There is only one tax that is imposed by India. Okay. The next one is a how the GST works in India. In manufacture point, the manufacturer will have to pay GST on the raw material that is purchased and value that has been added to market the product. Second service provider point of view, in this case the service provider will be responsible for paying the GST on both the product purchase price and the value added to it. However, the manufacturer tax payment may be deducted from the total GST that must be paid. Then third one is a retailer point of view. It must be paid by the retailer on both the product they brought from the distributor and the margin they added. However, if the retailer tax payment may be deducted from the total amount GST that must be paid. Finally, consumer point of view, GST must be paid on the product that has been purchased. Next one is the objectives of GST to eliminate the multiple tax system, increasing in compliance with the business, to reduce the prices for higher efficiency and productivity. Next one is the types of GST in India. First one is the central GST central goods and service tax that means CGST is charged on the intrastate supply of product and services. Second one is a state goods and service tax SGST like CGST is charged on the sale of product or services within state. Integrated goods and service taxes. That means IGST is charged on the intrastate transaction of product and services. Union Territory Goods and Service Taxes UTGST is levied on supply of product and services in any of the Union Territory in the country like West Andaman, Nicobatib and then Lakshati, Chandigarh etc. GST impact on central government, increase in the collections of CGST and IGST, loss of CST revenues, refund of under GST, reduce the corruptions, conceptions as loss of revenues to state, impact of the state government, GST impacted. Prolifications of computerizations leading to fall in transaction cost. The destinations of principles. These are the main impact of the state government. Next one is a top 10 advantages of GST. Increasing the foreign investment, one tax system, less compliance, simple, simply accessible, efficiency of logistics, left for the laser, they make in India initiative, removal of cascading, Indian revenue, transparency. Disadvantages of GST, increasing the cost, increasing the software expenses also, increase in the tax burden, tax burden in SMEC, difficulties of migrations to online, compliance burden. 
Next one is a sector space impact of the GST. The first one is a logistics. It was vast country like India. The logistics sectors from the backbone of the economy. The second one is the e-commerce. The e-commerce sectors in India has been growing by leap and bound. It mainly these GST with helps to e-commerce sectors continued growth, but the long term effect will be particularly increasing. So that was uh, that was the tax collections at the sources of TCS mechanisms. which e-commerce companies are not too happy with the current ratio of tcs is at 1 percentage pharma on this whole gst is benefited to pharma healthcare industries it will be create the level of paying the field of generic drug makers next one is a telecom communications in this sector price will come down and after gst manufacturer will save on cost through the efficient management of inventory and by consolidating their warehouses textile industry the indian textile industry provide the employment to the large number of skilled and unskilled workers in india it contributes about the 10 percentage of total annual export retail real estate the real estate sector is one of the most private sectors in indian economy playing the important role in india the impact of gst on the real estate sectors cannot be fully assessed for the large next one is agriculture sectors the agriculture sectors is the largest contribution sectors the overall indian gdp it covers around 16 percentage of india gdp one of the major issues faced by the agriculture sectors is the transportation of agri product across the state next one is a fmcg sectors is the savings in logistics and the distribution cost of the cst freelancer is the india still the na nascent industry the rule and regulations of the industry still up the air but the gst it will become much easier for freelancers to fill their tax and they can easily to do in online next one is the automobile industry it was a vast business uh, producing the large number of cars annually under this previous tax system there was a several tax applicable in this sectors likewise uh, vat that means the value added tax sales tax road tax motor vehicle tax registration duties which will be uh, subsumed by the gst thank you